Good morning, everyone. I never get this set right. Uh, I don't want too much headroom. Oh, the trees and everything here are beautiful. I still want it to be properly aligned. That's a curtain. That's not some kind of a wall or something. These are real pictures. When I first started doing this, I was putting up my own background. And a lot of the people that you see, if you're watching them, uh, they've got backgrounds. You can see a lot of times when you're using a blue screen or a green screen, it breaks around the edges and you can kind of see behind it. If you're doing something with a green screen, then it's... Oh, you got to think about what you're viewing or a blue screen you just can't wear either color so a lot of my colors are black red just so I can handle whatever I was doing but that's in the studio and no I haven't shaved yet I'm trying to get my mindset back to going back to camping I'd rather be doing that now it's getting cold but you dress appropriately, you know. This is my winter jacket. It's part of a large hunting outfit, which I don't use anymore. I have my hat, which I could put on, but I don't need to right now. And I have one pair of gloves. And I always fasten them back to each other. They got Velcro straps, and you fasten them from one glove to the other, so that way they're together. If you don't, you're going to end up with one glove. And that's not a lot of help. It's like having one sock. And i got to go to the market later today, so I've got my Kroger coupons in my jacket. I've got to go get one of my tires looked at. It's got a slow leak. It's got a warranty, so other than having to wait forever, and then I gotta go buy my tent today. Ah. All right. We're still here. Where's the rapture? Well, it's always been imminent. And it's gonna to continue to be imminent until it hits. But this war, which if we interpret Revelation correctly, Revelation 12, it's the woman in travail. It usually means war, and the woman is Israel. So Israel is at war, and it's continuing on. And it's probably going to escalate. We are not, because of the current situations, we are not looking at today, we're not looking at Psalm 83 or uh, the Magog War in Ezekiel 38 because the United States is involved. But they're beginning to waffle. I didn't trust it from the beginning. They have an opportunity to give, get rid of some more of their military capability by giving it to Israel. <clears throat> They've got their carrier fleet over there. Um, there was supposed to be a third carrier on the way and they've canceled it. They're already waffling. And even before they get attacked or threatened any more than they already have, they've been threatened that if they launch anything that everybody's going to cut loose on them too. We used to have the power to do that and stand up to them and say, go right ahead, bring it on. I don't think we can right now. They couldn't sustain a, a prolonged war. We don't have the munitions. The military has said they don't have the replacement munitions for those given away. And there's not been any money allocated for it. They're deliberately putting us in danger. That's treasonous. And I'm not going to go any further than that. All right. I did want to clarify one thing. I had one comment that I, um, again, I when I put up the last two videos about the raptures tomorrow, is to see how people comment on the title and don't watch the video. And then people say, well, it's clickbait. 
Well, if you are familiar with my videos, I warned you I was doing that. I didn't do it for clickbait to get my numbers up. I did it to prove a point that people don't bother. They just are in an attacking mode. Satan gets people agitated. Even Christians can be agitated by Satan. He can indwell us, but he can bring people around to influences. So be careful. Stay in the word. Satan hates God, hates his word, and hates Christians and Jews. So if you keep your spirit charged up, Satan can't bother you. Okay. So a sign that our war is still still to be completed, it hasn't finished, is that Hamas, when Israel came out and they dropped the leaflets and they told everybody, you know, you got to get out of the north because we're going to come in and with ground troops start attacking, because they're still there. They're launching missiles out of the north. They've got tunnels. The whole thing is catacombed, and they're, they're still launching missiles. So they were launching stuff from Israel this morning. Um, Reuters has it, and it's also on Agenda Free TV. They've, uh, he guy actually paid for, Steve, paid for the feed so that he could broadcast it. When you're doing live like stuff like that and he's making money off of it, uh, you can't take somebody else's material and just rebroadcast it unless you pay for it. And he did buy the uh, Reuters feed so he can show us that. So I was watching live feed on his channel because it comes up automatically of opening day for today. They said they had until 9 a.m. their time to move out. And they're, they're moving in. They've got tanks coming in. Uh, it's escalating. Lebanon is going to have to escalate theirs to try to slow it down. That's what they're trying to do. But it's not going to work. The Iranian brigade has moved, I think, like 100,000 troops into Syria uh, along the Lebanon border. Uh, they're, they're getting re ready to do what they need to do. Uh, they can't do what our country does and have things just come up and distract. Uh, they actually have to do something. And so they're going to probably open up the fronts a little bit more in the north to try to get it to slow down. But they committed such an atrocity, Israel is not going to back down. <clears throat> Even if they threaten nukes, Israel will say, fine, bring it on. We've got our nukes to respond with. You want to go nukes? We can wipe everybody out. We know God's going to protect us. Of course, they think the same thing. The Quran teaches them that if they start World War III, the Islam community, that Jesus, Yeshua, will come back and help, help them win. That's the lie they've been bought into. Of course, Jesus to them is not the Savior. He's not the Son of God. He's just a good prophet. Satan is good at uh, taking a truth and twisting it a little bit so that it's no longer true. That's his expertise. So anyhow, Hamas has uh, put up barricades. Of course, they warned everybody, don't do what they said. Stay there, stay put. And then they've been blockading the road so that they can't move south. A lot of people have probably, there's probably a million in the north, probably well, over half have moved south. There's still over half still there. And they're trying to get down, and they're trying to move, but Hamas is still being cowardly. They are low, down, dirty cowards. That's about as clean as I can keep it. By using them as human shields. That's why they have their hostages, human shields. These big, tough guys with these big guns are standing behind women and children because they're cowards. And you can see around the world how many of these cowards have sympathizers because the media doesn't tell the truth. I mentioned this before, but I'm going to continue to mention this as long as I can because the media doesn't cover it. Hunter Biden had all charges dropped. This happened on a day where there was something big going on. That's their tactic. They have taken over so much of this country, you could basically go in and, and do worse than what Hamas does or did, 
and get away with it because nobody would talk about it. The media could be right there covering it and they won't talk about it. Or if they do, it's this radical right group did this, even though they may have been complicit. Just complete lies. We don't have to worry about the uh, falling away part. The whole world is falling away. But our government has definitely fallen away. Okay, um, so try to watch some of this stuff as it comes up. Uh, you can see live. You hear the planes come over. You hear the... I can't, I can't whistle. My mouth is dry this morning. And I just finished off my last coffee. Okay. So, the United States is pushing for a peace treaty again. Give them more land for peace. Every time they've done that, it's failed. And every time they've completed it, this country has suffered something. Land for peace, Katrina. Land for peace, tornado in the heartland killing people. Every time we get involved and we push for it, it backfires. Yes, there was a place for the Palestinians for that much time. And then Hamas moved in, a proxy from Iran, and because Iran, their leaders are cowards. They fund it. That's why they're all called proxies. Iran pays for Hamas, Hezbollah, the Houthis. They send money into Syria. That's why we just bombed Damascus and uh, Aleppo, the two main airports in Syria. And the Israelis said, don't bother to fix them. We'll come right back and blow them up again. Russia doesn't like it. Too bad. Israel's ready to stand up against everybody. They're ready to push this all the way till the end. You want World War III? We'll give it to you. That's their response. We know we will win. It does say there will be a war in Israel, and it says that there will be a war that no one will help them with. That's Ezekiel 38. But God, of course, God will always protect them. Okay, so we're still looking for the rapture keep telling everybody that it's not necessarily associated with a Jewish event, holiday or festival. It can be, but it's not necessary for it to be. It is a, in the Bible, a most unique event. Raptors are not unique. They've been, they've, we've seen them in the past. This particular, let's get the Christians off the world to get out of the way so Satan can have his run. That's a unique event. A lot of what's in Revelation may have been talked about, but it's never happened before. And don't be confused. Don't think that the times are bad enough yet. The first and second century were really bad. Paul told the Thessalonians about the rapture. We have that. And the word harpazo was used, which is translated into the Latin version, rapturo, which we get rapture from. So rapture is in the Bible, but it's under the Greek harpazo. I'm not pronouncing it exactly right. I don't pronounce any of these names right. I've learned a long time ago that I can't do accents because I don't have control of my tongue. Um, I can't roll R's, so that Spanish, and I can't do... I can do a little, I can, I, can, I can do a little bit of a Russian accent, but that's all I can do. It's just a little bit, because I've had to use them for some of the acting stuff, but it is so, and I got to practice. I just can't jump in like I just did and do it right. And I can do a little bit of Scottish, because I have a Scottish background, but I'm not very good at it. I have to really practice currently, and I'm not doing that, so... Um, my next acting gig, I think, is on the 11th of November, so we're not too far away. I will have to shave by then. One of the problems I have with this independent filmmaker is that he tends to film in large gaps. And I change my look a lot of times. 
and I don't remember what I looked like the last time I acted with them. So sometimes you might see me with a beard and sometimes I don't. Okay. So why is the rapture not here? Well, there's still an appointed time and we are to be ready. Paul was ready. Now, some of the people that predict the dates, the time frame, I should say time frame, they used to predict the exact dates and they've stopped doing that. So we're in a high watch because we're in the, the time proximity. We still got till the end of October and the current high watch period. I still think that it's got to be 2023 to match up with all the numbers. You know, we don't know exactly when Jesus was born because they messed up the calendar on that. We think we know. And his ministry was not, you know, 30 A.D., but 33 A.D., you know. Uh, it could be off by as much as seven years, depending on whose calculations you look at. But we do know when Israel was created. But we still got a quandary on that. The U.N. approved the country in 47. I think March of 47, but in May of 48 is when they actually turned the key on. They got everything set up, their government approved and set up. So which time frame do you count from? They were approved and there were Israelites living in the area. Or when they were officially calculated And initially, they didn't have Jerusalem. So technically, it wasn't restored until Trump era. When he recognized Jerusalem in the 67 war, where they gained Jerusalem. It's hard to take, pick your dates. You, you, can't, you can't smorgasbord this. Well, it matches this pattern, so this must be it. But there's other patterns that matches, which we find out about. When they find out the first pattern was wrong, they come up with another pattern. Just be ready all the time. It does seem like it needs to be this year, but it's not as bad as it could have been. You know, if you look at the Thessalonians, and today we're going to look at Thessalonians, Second Thessalonians, they thought they had missed the rapture because times were so tough. So we're going to look at uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, we're starting verse 1. Now I beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, and by our gathering together unto him, we will eventually be gathered together. A number of times, actually, but uh, in verse 2. That you not soon be shaken or be troubled, neither by spirit nor by word, nor by a letter, as if from us, as if the day of Christ is at hand. Somebody sent him a fake letter, signed it, Paul, and they were uh, confused, to say the least. And so we had to set them straight. Now, the day of Christ is at hand, that's the second coming. So a lot of this that he's talking now has to apply to uh, the future event. He's already told them about the rapture, and now he's talking about him coming back. He's talking to the people in Thessalonica that were, there's a synagogue there that he introduced Christ to, and they were far enough away from Jerusalem that they were able to maintain that. Um, so let no man deceive you that by any means that that day shall not come except for the coming of the uh, except to uh, have the falling away first and that the man of sin be revealed now we've seen in other verses about the rapture that we are the restraining force keeping the man of sin from doing what he wants to do so it's the rapture we have to be out of here for for the antichrist to be revealed but not the second coming. He has to be in power for a little while before the second coming. He has to 
mess up the temple, defile it, the abomination. Well, there's no temple yet. So Israel has to stay alive long enough to have a temple. And the Antichrist is going to have to get in and put an end to this fighting and come up with a peace treaty. So that's one of the things that's coming up. Now, I don't think that we're going to see the Antichrist at all. Now, we've probably seen the body that he's going to inhabit. The person's alive. He's one of the, he's the seventh king. But he's going to die and come back as the eighth. Which shows that when he dies, he's not coming back as the same person. Or he'd just be the seventh, continuing on. He's going to be the eighth, and he's going to have the demon power in him, the Apollyon, the worst demon, worst creature in Satan's command. So anyhow, except there come a falling away first that the man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, and that's the Antichrist. Uh, okay, chapter 2, verse 4. Who opposes and exalted himself above all that is called God, and that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God. He's the Antichrist. He's not Christ. He's an imitator. Doing exactly what Satan does best. Copying. Showing himself that he is God. Remember you ye not that when I was with you, I told you these things. And Paul is just quoting Old Testament. And now you know that what withholdeth that he might be revealed in this time. For the mystery of iniquity does already work. Only who who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. That's why I say we're the restrainer. The Spirit of God technically is the restrainer, but you can't remove the Holy Spirit from the world, but you can remove him from us, or by removing us. Once you've got the Spirit, you've got it forever. So they have to remove us from the earth. We need the rapture for our safety and so that the Antichrist can continue on. Anytime it's got to happen. And then thou shalt, uh, shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit, uh, the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness, brightness of his coming. Revelation tells about that, but that's in the future. He's got to get here first. Even him who is coming is after the working of Satan with all the power and signs and lying wonders. Satan's going to do his thing, too. He's already doing it with the harlot. When the harlot is done getting the world set up for the Antichrist, it's time. There are things that have to happen. I think at this point in time, there's nothing in the requirement, since we're at war now in Israel, there's nothing left in any kind of requirement. The rapture can be any time, literally. I don't know who the Antichrist is. There's no way of knowing. He's not looking like an antichrist. He's going to be one of our billionaires, probably. One of the world leaders. People know who he is. He's going to be influential. And then you put the power and force of Satan behind him and his charisma that he's going to have. <clears throat> That's how he's going to move into place. He will bring out leadership. Um, Omar Safati said he, he's always said that can't be a Muslim. With what just happened, Israel would never work with any Muslim. And they're all around the world. They're trying to overthrow the, the world. They're trying to overthrow every country. Look at them. Protest march in France. France called up 7,000 troops to help keep the peace. Morocco. There's all kinds of places around the world where Hamas supporters, and they're just like the BLM in this country, they're paid for. They give them money 
to go out and do what they're going to do. They're paid vigilantes. You'll watch the old Western. This technique has been around forever. <clears throat> you watch a John Wayne movie. And he, he shoots somebody. How much do they pay you? He pulls out a silver dollar or something. A dollar would buy a week or two's worth of food. Okay, now in verse 10. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of truth, that they might be saved. They've turned it down. And for the, this cause, God shall send them a strong delusion. You wonder why we're seeing this <coughs> craziness. How can they accept this stuff? How can they accept the murdering rampage on the 7th? One, they're lied to, and they believe the lies, but they're susceptible to their delusion because they've turned down God. That they should believe a lie. That they all might be damned who believed not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. We've had countries come out and people come out and groups say, we applaud what Hamas does. We need to kill off all the Jews. Some of it's our own fault. Our own churches have caused this. Martin Luther was anti-Jewish replacement theology. So it's been around for a long time. The little religion of Islam has made, made ways using that. I just leave it at that. I'm still trying to keep this on, on YouTube and keep it generic. You know what I'm talking about, and you know if I mention some of these players. You know, who could it be? We could speculate. Could be someone from the United States, because we support Israel, although we're kind of sitting on the fence right now. But we did just send them a shipment of arms and missiles and all kinds of stuff. Our administration is still trying to remove all of the military capability of this country. The military has come out and said, you need to replace all the stuff that you're giving away to Ukraine. They've asked for it. The military leaders have asked for it, and they haven't got it. It will take them a year or two to replace it all, and they haven't even started. They haven't even funded it. In another world, that would be treason. But the harlot thinks not. So no matter how bad things get, the first and second century had it bad. Don't be like the Thessalonians and think they missed it or that it's not coming. It is still coming. But it's not as bad here anyway as it is around the world. They're killing Christians in churches. They're burning down Christian churches in parts of the world. There are countries where you can still be killed for having a Christian belief. We've just been saved from all that because we were founded as a Christian nation and we managed to hold on for a long time. But at this point in time, all of our leadership is anti-Christian, either in complicit or in omission. You sit and watch something horrible happen and you don't do anything to help it, you're part of it. You're an accessory. Someone's getting beat up on the street, everybody pulls their cameras out. They're not stopping the fight, they're just filming it. And the response of bad guys is getting worse. Some old guy was killed because he was selling his motorcycle the guy came up and gave him phony money. He realized it and he started chasing after him. The guy stopped, pulled out a gun and shot him a number of times and he died. Don't try to be a hero. Get their license plate. If you've got good memory, which I don't, memorize the license plate and identify all, all the stuff that you see. 
don't let them notice what you're doing. If you pull your camera out, he could turn around and come back. You need to be armed if you're going to pull that kind of stunt and know how to use your gun. Don't buy a gun unless you're going to learn how to use it. Criminals take guns away from people because they, one, are afraid to pull the trigger, or two, they don't know how to take the safety off. I used to teach. I was an NRA instructor. Safety is the key. Every gun is loaded. So you've got to treat it that way. If it's a squirt gun, it's still loaded. Now they go overboard sometimes on the rules in school where somebody eats a piece of bread and it makes it look like a gun and they take, kick them out of class for a week. That's stupid. But if you have a gun, yeah, you should get kicked out and have it confiscated. All right, how are we doing on time? Yep, that's it. If things pick up more, I'll come in with, with special alerts, but you need to pay attention too. Uh, don't look to the mainstream media because they're gonna lie to you. But you need to watch a little bit of it so you can see what they're telling everybody else. Because when you talk to people and they come back with well, there's no such thing as the rapture. It doesn't exist. Well, they were taught that someplace. And in order to be able to talk to them, you got to know who taught it to them so you know what to say to them. It goes for all the fringe religions. They know about your comeback remarks and verses you're going to quote, and they've got a response to every one of them. They're trained by their own denomination and by Satan on how to stand firm. You can still beat him down by having all the right verses. Jesus beat down Satan, and Satan knows the Bible inside and out. But so does Jesus. So be prepared. Get in the Word and stay in it. Read some of the Word every day. Pray a quiet sit-down prayer, and then just talk to God all day. No matter what you're doing, talk to Him. All right, till we meet in the clouds, God bless.